In this video, I'm going to be reacting to the most ridiculous fragrance TikToks that I've seen in the past week. This first one is of course from the man himself, Jeremy Fragrance. I couldn't do this video without reacting to Jeremy first, so let's get into it. I've not watched this thing in full. Do you wear fragrance already? Huh? Do you fragr wear fragrances already? Yeah. Which? He wears the blue Jean Paul Gaultier. That is... Why did he just leave him left on red, but in real life? He just ghosted the kid. The poor kid. He obviously, obviously Jeremy doesn't like the original Jean Paul Gaultier because he didn't even respond to him. He just turned and walked away. This was my first major fragrance. Oh, there we go. Fragrance. I can suggest it to you as your first fragrance. It's a sexy one. <laughs> okay, Jeremy comes back, says it was actually his first major fragrance. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe his first, you know, well-known designer fragrance. It was a good one, and he recommends it. And I completely agree. The original Lamal, you get the lavender, you get the sexy barbershop vibe. It's a big compliment puller still in 2024. It's a great affordable fragrance. So I do agree with Jeremy on this one. I'm not sure why he ghosted the kid and left him on red in real life, but you know, I, you know, it's just Jeremy, I think. That's just a Jeremy thing. This next video is from Fragrance Knowledge, also known as Evan. He's a good friend of mine. He posts on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Definitely check him out. This is him ranking the best men's cologne from each popular men's line. I'm gonna see if I agree with his choices from each line fragrance knowledge edition me personally yeah i'm picking profondo but overall i think absolute is the best out of this selection but mm, profondo is definitely so he says profondo is his favorite aqua de jo i'm gonna have to disagree for me profondo smells a little bit too youthful i really like profumo it's more classy more sophisticated absolute i still have not tried need to smell that i might go smell it today in the city actually the original i agree it's just not my favorite i would go profumo over profondo mm, profondo is definitely my favorite yeah everyone pretty much knows i'm not a fan of sauvage but the elixir is really good i really enjoy the nice perusal. again evan i am gonna have to disagree with you here i much prefer sauvage edp over the elixir the elixir the licorice it's just too strong again it's like lamar it's just too barbershop heavy it's not something i would wear at the age of 21 maybe when i'm like 40 and hopefully rich elixir would be more mildly EDP is more versatile, pulls more compliments, way easier to wear. E even the EDT, I'll take over the Elixir. Way too much. Is the YSL EDP is now? very good, but I very good fragrance. Why EDP is very good, but I definitely think the Le Parfum over here is the best one out of the whole YSL. I agree with Evan. I think Why Le Parfum is the best as well. Why Intense is also fantastic, but I don't think that was out when he made this video. So it'd be interesting to see Evan's thoughts on Why So Why Intense. But I agree, I would take Le Parfum over Why So Why ADP. I'm gonna have to disagree with this one as well. I definitely give it to the Parfum way over here. Not a lot of people agree with that. Interesting. One. Most people will say Lucky or Prevay. I best. would say Lucky, I, I think. I say One Million Parfum is the best. One million. So Evan thinks One Million Parfum is actually the best One Million, which is a take that I don't hear a lot. Parfum, I really like. Sweet, spicy, definitely kind of the most complex out of the line in my opinion. But One Million Lucky, which I've got down there somewhere, is my favorite One Million. It smells like sweet, nutty, honey popcorn. It is beautiful. That's gonna wrap it up for Evan's video. Definitely check him out. This next one is crazy. It is from NC Fragrance Guy, and he makes his own colognes at home. Let's check it out. You gotta make your very own fragrance from home. JPG Laboo Paradise Garden. So let's go ahead and add the first important thing, the coconut inside there. So let's get a little bit of the coconut in there. Okay. Nice bit of coconut. Next, you want to go in there with a little bit of ginger. Oh, I can't and forget the bottled ginger. Bottle ginger. ginger. Oh, this here. necessary ingredient right. for sure. Gonna add some ginger. Oh, I'm actually losing brain cells watching this. Ginger. It's hilarious, but I'm no. slowly losing my mind. Next, you want to go in there with your. Um, oh, rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Yep. So can't go wrong. What does it actually smell right, like? JPG. Here we go. Let's see. Inside here, let's see how it smells. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so good. His face, he's literally. Let's start mixing up inside here. Let's see how it smells. You can see he's pretending wow. so hard that it's good. Yeah. <laughs> he's like low key. It's gone like into his lungs or something. That is hilarious. 
I kind of want to try this and post it on my TikTok. Shout out to NC Fragrance Guy. His videos are hilarious. Definitely check him out. I do kind of feel bad for his immune system having to process these fragrances that he's creating. It would be funny to see him actually sell these one day or even just go out in public. Public reactions with the fragrances he's made. If you're listening right now, that is a great video idea. You should definitely go do that. Check this guy out. Love his videos. Up next, we are going to be reacting to the Cologne Boy. Everyone knows the Cologne Boy. He's the guy who always lotions up for the homies. He's the guy that wears the $500 niche fragrances to school. But this video is more is more kind of normal. He's going to be ranking all of his Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances from worst to best. I'm going to see if I agree or disagree with his choices. Let's get into Every it. Every single Jean-Paul Gaultier from the mainland. Let's rank them out of 10 and rate them from a favorite to worst. All right, so it looks like he's got... um. He's got all the Jean-Paul Gaultier that I have up there. Just basically just the main ones, so Coming let's in go. Coming last place, we have the original. This masterpiece smells amazing to me, but mm, it is outdated. Outdated, it yeah. Oh, it seems like a lot of people have that you know similar opinion. They would rank the original the Mal last on a Jean-Paul Gaultier list because it smells outdated, but it is not bad. Let me just clear that up. Maybe my editor can put that on the screen. It is not bad. <laughs> The original Lamal, honestly, really good. Uh, it just kind of smells like an old guy trying to stay cool again, trying to hang out with the younger guys. But, you know, it's a compliment puller. It's affordable. Um, I would actually say LeBeau EDT is worse than the original Lamal, but moving forward. Fresh. It is minty. It is green, but it is last as long. But... Yeah, so at the number six spot, it looks like he put LeBeau EDT. I would just flip those around personally, but pretty similar opinions. Going on at number six spot. At number five, you have Jean Paul Gaultier. And at the number five, he puts Le Beau Le Parfum, it looks like, which I'm gonna have to disagree with. I think it should, it deserves maybe the number four spot. Le Beau Le Parfum, in my opinion, is a huge upgrade over Le Beau EDT. It's more dense, more rich. I just think it smells so much better and it lasts longer as well. But let's see what he ranks at the number four spot. At number four, we got this new Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau Paradise mm. Garden. This is green. This is minty. This is fresh. It doesn't have a lot of coconut. It's toned. See, he's putting Paradise Gardens above Le Beau Le Parfum. Me, personally, I'm not doing that. I just think the performance is so much better with Le Beau Le Parfum that you can't do that. Um, maybe that's just my skin chemistry reacting with the fragrances, though. Smell-wise, I would say they're about the same. You could even say Paradise Gardens actually smells a little bit better. It's more refreshing. I love that minty green freshness. But, again, for a summer party, for compliments, I'm always taking Le Beau Le Parfum. So, I'm sorry, Cologne Boy. I think his name's Avi. I love you. But Paradise Gardens, in my opinion, is not as good as Le Beau Le Parfum. Let's keep moving on with the video. At number three, it's a surprise, but it is Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mille. Oh, it's no. It's number two for me. Really? I'm sorry. This stuff is still amazing. This Anyone see that? Their beauty, sugary combo. Mm. But then again, Ultra Mille is no. just a bit better. No. And you guessed it. I'm know. flipping those two around. I'm taking the Mille Parfum over Ultra Mille any day of the week. That powdery, sophisticated iris note is beautiful. It is by far my favorite Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, which must mean he's going to put Lamar Elixir at the number one spot, which I'm sorry, my boy. I'm sorry, no, I can't agree with you on this, but let's see. The number one is Jean-Paul Gaultier Elixir. No. Oh. Honey, vanilla. Stop oh. smacking their ass. Backle. <laughs> Man, this stuff lasts like eternal. That's true. It projects amazing. That's true. And it smells so good. I love it. It does last ages and it does project amazingly and it does smell so good. It gets a lot of compliments. The scent trail leaves is crazy. It's just way too sickeningly sweet for me. Cologne Boy, I respect your list, but this is mine. Last place, I'm going Le Beau EDT. Then I'm going Original Le Mal. Then I'm going Le Mal Elixir. I know, controversial. Then I'm going Paradise Gardens, Le Beau Le Parfum, and second, we're going Ultra Mal, and then first place, my Snooky Wookie Pookums of a fragrance. It is Le Mal Le Parfum, absolute 10 out of 10. That is my list. That is the Cologne Boys list. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. It's mine. My list is better. The final TikTok that we are reacting to today is from Cookie. He makes the Walking Dead videos, but he has a alt account where he talks about fragrances. He talks about his life. Super cool guy. He bought a bunch of fragrances off Amazon, I believe. He blind bought a bunch. Let's see what he got. Let's see if he made the right choices. All the fragrances right now. Okay, so we got the Jean Paul Gaultier Lamel Elixir. Now, wait, let me say. See, I think the way he's pronouncing it, he's doing it on purpose to get more comments. What did he say? Oh, Gaultier. Gaultier. Lamel Alexa. Alexa. 
Yes, sir. Now, wait, let me say something, by the way, guys. I tried to cancel the order off Amazon, but they ended up coming. So, yeah, I did get taxed. But I think one did cancel. I think it was the Stronger With You Intensely. Oh, that's, that's devastating. Coming. The one that got canceled is, in my opinion, the best fragrance out of all the ones that he has in front of him. Because it looks like he has 1 million Royal, Lamel Elixir, Born in Roma, and Spice Bomb Night Vision, which all of those are great fragrances. I just think Stronger With You Intensely is better than all of those which is kind of devastating. I'm, I wish you got to experience what Strong With You Intensely smells like, but you know, for a starter collection, you can't go wrong with any of these. He's just missing something more fresh. These are all very dense, heavy winter fragrances. Get something for the summer, man. In a different package. So I'm not sure, I'm not too sure about that, but we got that one and then, I don't know if you guys were saying that the Royal's not good. I think you guys were saying something else, like there was another. One main Royal I find is very controversial. For me, it is just too sweet. It just smells like a bunch of fruits blended together. I would rather have Elixir, 1 million Elixir for that vanilla note, even 1 million Lucky, the caramel popcorn vibe I much prefer. A lot of people love Royal though. I feel like it would be a huge compliment puller. I don't think he's made a bad choice choosing Royal. It's just not for me. One, but I couldn't find it. So I just got 1 million Royal. And I got perfume on, I made sure to get perfume on all these. I'm not sure if this one's perfume, but there's like the Eau de Toilette. I, what's the difference between? Yeah, see, I think he's trying to work out the difference with the fragrance concentrations. I wouldn't worry too much about the concentrations, especially when you're starting out. A lot of it is just honestly marketing. If you're worried about how they're going to perform, go on Fragrantica, scroll down until you get to Siage. That's how strong the scent trail is. And you just want to look for something with at least a moderate Siage. That means it'll perform decently well. All the ones he's got in front of him, though, are pretty strong fragrances, honestly. So he doesn't have to really worry about that. What does that mean? We, we did toilet. Like, why is it called that? I just think of a toilet, but. Fair. This one's Eau de Parfume, Spice Bomb. Yeah, we're gonna open, I'm gonna open one. Oh, so the Valentino is actually Coral Fancy. I've heard great things about that. Again, I haven't tried that. And Born in Roma Yellow Dream, I'm gonna go try. I'm gonna try these two today and you know, I'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully they're really good. Next video, so let's go. So he says he's gonna open them in the next year, which I'm looking forward to, to seeing because I think they were all blind buys for him. Definitely check out Cookie. This guy is just a super genuine down to earth dude. And it's super fun as someone that's more into fragrances, just seeing other people's journeys, seeing them blind buy, seeing what they like and don't like. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is me reacting to some ridiculous fragrance TikToks. If you want a part two, definitely let me know in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with all of your friends. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.